you know a lot of these videos that I make are instruction to me as well as instruction to the people that I talk to um, <clears throat> I've said before that we minister with our brokenness uh, God seems to hammer in the messages <laughs> Chuck Swindoll says that uh, in hammering out his messages during the week and that's a totally different thing from God hammering it in you hammer it out means that you pay attention to the particulars in a fashion in a way that is constructive to people's lives hammer it out but when God hammers it in it can get destructive before it gets instructive you know the Bible says God chastises those that he loves <coughs> chastisement what is chastise? he whips you he put the hurt on you he says I he says I am a hard man a couple of places in the Bible okay so so today I want to talk about first Peter 5 8 actually uh, which says be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour <clears throat> now you know it's the, the devil's like a lion and we sometimes bring the enemy into our homes um, in many different ways and and we and we bring it to a maturity not knowing that it will mature thinking oh this is a little pet lion snake little bitty anaconda thing ain't three foot long what's that gonna hurt you people are just paranoid little alligator alligator not new you know but you, you know what some people don't think ahead they just don't think ahead what's that little critter going to look like two years from now what's he going to look like three years from now four years full grown lion living in your house male full-grown male lion living in your house let me tell you they can easily take over and destroy everything everything that you're about and we we play around with sin we play around with sin and this preacher that I heard the other day talked about this guy bought this snake in, and he kept it in a glass cage and it covered his whole wall and um, this is a true story and this was the biggest snake I, I forget exactly what it was some kind of python or something or uh, anaconda one of those real huge snakes and uh, the snake got to be, I don't know, 17 feet long, I think it was. 17 feet long. And, and the the fellow had two young boys. And without a doubt, they got used to the snake being there. And the snake got used to seeing them, and they got used to seeing the snake. And one day that snake's lips started watering when he's looking at those boys I've been looking at you a long time about time we took care of business <clears throat> but the man had it in a he had it in like a like a cage in air with a glass front and it went all the way up to the ceiling no way was that snake going to get out so he thought 
But that snake, he crawled up that wall. He stood on his tail, crawled up that wall. And he pushed open a vent. And he crawled through the ductwork in that house. And he came down, dropped down into the boy's bedroom. And he killed both of those young boys. Killed both of them. A lot of you heard that story before. It's drawn out. The guy tells the story. It's drawn out. But some of you have pornographic materials in your house. Playboy magazines, sex toys. Um, all different kinds of things that uh, aid you in your fantasies. And without noticing your little pet sin is maturing is maturing around you with you growing getting bigger every day some of you it's it's little white lies a little cheat here a little cheat there lady right up town here not too long ago probably one of the nicest people you ever want to meet she worked at a bank and she got to the place to where it wasn't wrong for her to just you know take a little money here take a little money there and that thing began to grow and mature and then she devised a way where she could take hundreds of dollars and blame it on somebody else and not get caught and she did this for about six months. Ended up taking thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. Her little pet sin grew. And became mature. It became mature. The Bible tells us, be sure your sin will find you out. Let's go look at that. <clears throat> when it is finished, It brings forth death. They try to hide it, but it just don't work. But it just don't work. James chapter 1. James chapter 1, NIV. says, Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. Gives birth to death. You know what? That man didn't, that had that big snake, he didn't understand that there was death. Every day it grew. Every day it grew and grew. Death was growing. Death was growing right inside of his home. He had hundreds of days, hundreds, thousands of chances to stop this death. Surely this crossed his mind hundreds of times. And he did absolutely nothing about it. James 1, 15. Now I want to go back and I want to go read 1 Peter. I don't, I'm going to get into 1 Peter here. But I want to talk a little bit about this. King James 1, uh, James 1.15 and I don't just want to read that one verse I've read that one but um, perseverance in temptation perseverance in temptation let no, no man say when I am tempted I am tempted of God for God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Do not err, my beloved brother. Do not err, my beloved brother. 
every good gift and perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights with whom is no bearableness neither shadow of his turning of his own will beget he us with his with the word of truth that we should be kind a kind of first fruits of his creation we are all this to, to make us like he is okay now let's go back and read uh, first Peter um, one first Peter 1 5 first I'm sorry first Peter chapter 5 <laughs> Uh, the elders which are among you I exhort and of course this is uh, Peter uh, talking here um, and, and yeah Peter is uh, uh, sort of like the first pope and I'll tell you something those popes they can learn a thing or two from reading the the book of Peter here, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of them could. A witness of the suffering of Christ and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you. Take the oversight thereof not by constant, not by constraint, but willingly. Not for money, filthy lucre, but of a ready mind neither as being lords over God's heritage but being examples to the flock neither as being lords over what is a pope what is a pope Peter was against that and when the chief shepherd shall appear ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away cast your cares upon him likewise ye younger submit yourselves unto the elder ye all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility for God resists the proud and give grace to the humble humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time casting all your care upon him for he cares for you now here it is. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in faith. Resist him. Resist those things. Resist the pornographic material. Resist the, the soap opera. Resist those uh, uh, movies of people stripping off and cussing and hopping in the sack with one another and and uh, soap opera type uh, in the, in some of the NCI like the, those shows on TV and some of those shows are so horrible you know we, and I'll never forget Ted Bundy when he said it was you know, the hardcore pornographic materials it's talking about physically harming a person's body during sex hardcore and he said when he picked up that first magazine said he was hooked on it. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, he said that from that moment on that he had like no resistance to it yes he did he just didn't want to. He just didn't want to. We have a resistance. You know, just walk away. You know, pray. Ask the Lord to help you. Turn. The Bible says he chastised those he left. The Lord will help you. He will show you. He will guide you in a way, in a fashion. God just say, don't bring that baby, mountain, lion, tiger, grizzly bear, <clears throat> anaconda whatever it is don't bring that he'll tell you look listen, you know the bad thing about a 
uh, a little snake, it always grows up to be big snakes. Same thing with a grizzly bear. Same thing with a a jungle lion, king of the king of the jungle. They'll grow up to be big, ferocious beasts. All of them. They'll kill you. They'll eat you. Crocodile, rip you to shreds, and be happy he did it. Some of you have trouble stealing. You steal just little things. You steal just little things. Uh, here and there, you steal pencil from work, a paper clip. Uh, you take things that an ink pen, a piece of paper, <clears throat> and it gets bigger and bigger. And pretty soon you start taking things that you know you shouldn't take from work you know bigger things and you take a whole bunch of pencils every time you see a nice looking ink pen you grab it you got a collection at home you got stuff you be like Johnny Cash in the in his um, uh, Cadillac he carried that thing out in his lunchbox the whole thing the whole car built himself a car <laughs> working at GM he carried the thing out in his lunchbox <clears throat> Some people would do that, you know, if they could, if they could. Johnny, Johnny stole it over years. He stole a whole car, and then he tried to put the thing together, and the, there wasn't any holes in there, <laughs> in the right places. <clears throat> Somebody tried to build one of those cars for him one time. <laughs> it's incredible what the human mind can do and come up with. But if you play with sin. That's what the Bible says, man. It will destroy you. It will destroy you if you play with sin. Let no man say, when I am tempted, I am tempted of God. God cannot be tempted, neither can he tempt, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin. When sin is finished, it brings forth death. Do not err, my brethren. <clears throat> Do not err, my brother. Casting all your care upon him. Casting all your care. Listen, we have to acknowledge God before these things work in our lives. Ted Bundy was just never... You know, at the end of his life, he confessed Christ. You know what? Wouldn't have been so much greater if someone had introduced him to Christ before he got his hands on that first pornographic magazine. Wouldn't that have been something? You would never know. No one would never know except for his family. The name of Ted Bundy. It would mean nothing to us. Somebody say, you ever hear of Ted Bundy? No. What's a Ted Bundy? <clears throat> and your kids same way same same type of thing you yourself you can you can stop this lion from growing up into your home you can stop it you can stop it submit yourself unto the Lord take heart and cast your cares upon him you good cares, you beg everything, everything. My sister told me once, oh, God don't want to hear all my stuff. I says, Ann, God wants to hear every time your big toe hurts. God wants to know about it. And he wants to know about you too. All right, thanks for joining me. See you next time. Another great message right here across the middle ministry.